means it's time for Friday Follies. You know it. For that, we turn to author of the forthcoming book, The Thief Who Stole Heaven, Fox News contributor Raymond Arroyo. All right, Raimondo, um, Biden had a very, very big town hall. I know you watched it the other night. And there were a few answers that were troubling. Yeah, I'll say. And, and they got very little coverage, Laura. Joe Biden has a history, as you know, of saying racially insensitive things. And that tradition continued at the town hall with no objection from Anderson Cooper. Did you ever five years ago think every second or third ad out of five or six you'd turn on would be biracial couples? Not everybody in the community, in the Hispanic and the African-American community, particularly in uh, uh, rural areas that are distant and or inner city districts know how to use, know how to get online. So, so wait a minute, Laura, are only lily white people, uh, th th they have no technical challenges if they're lily white? It's what? only we Hispanics and the African Americans who have difficulty getting online? This is the man, you'll remember during the campaign, Laura, who said, uh, go to Joe, three three zero oh, three 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 zero. Oh. He didn't know the text, and it was text three three zero oh, three. Oh. Uh, when you want to bring the country together, it's best not to lead with racial divisiveness and racial identity in the forefront. It's a bad look. And doesn't and, he have and, anything and better to do than to catalog the the color coded nature of various commercials? I mean. They used to say, well, Trump just watches TV. Apparently, Biden's the one watching TV and making a note of how many uh, racial and biracial couples. Uh, that's just, I found that odd. I agree. The racial stereotyping is not a good look on him. And the president offered one admission, Laura, that was quite startling. And I'm sure he knows where he is. I get up in the morning, look at Jill and say, where the hell are we? I didn't realize I had been in the Oval Office a hundred times as vice president or more, more than that. Um, every morning uh, for the initial meetings, but I had never been up in the residence. What? I had never been up to the private residence. Laura, you oh and I have been God. up to the private residence. Yeah. So much for that Obama-Biden bromance story we keep hearing so much. Remember that narrative? Oh, Aside yeah. from ceremonial uh, duties and Veep episodes, these two apparently weren't all that close. But that didn't stop former Obama campaign manager Jim Messina from getting emotional. <laughs> I teared up at that. It was amazing to see Scrant and Joe kind of be honest about yeah. saying, yeah. wow, this is my life. Uh, I, <laughs> I teared up for a different reason, thinking this man is actually running our country. I did tear up as well.